but they were able to use i think with some challenges i think it's fair to say with some difficulties that they they fully up front about in the paper uh this machine learning um, algorithm to look at real experimental data and produce an output which has a physical meaning so that kind of accomplishes their aims i think and that's that's really that's a very important result i think um the challenges they have let's let's kind of go over the the, the challenges the challenges that they they kind of face so i think um the first challenge that they faced was that um the there was a, a lot of variance between samples which normally have the same conditions so all of these samples here normally have the same conditions if i pause the video here this one is almost no reaction at all this one's almost complete reaction that's that's pretty difficult so what they had to do was average not not only over an entire sample so not only averaging over an entire sample but average over all the samples within the in the same data set so that was a a, a difficulty in order to, to get an equation to fit what they also had to do was uh, they worked out that, that, that actually they had to, um, yeah, this is the graph here. They had to, um, they had to develop equations separately for each temperature. Now you might think that they should be able to use temperature as a parameter in their equation if the, uh, the the rate of reaction you think will have some relationship to temperature. Um, so the that they should be able to use temperature as a parameter in their in their model, but they actually weren't able to do that. They weren't able to take temperature as a parameter and apply it to all the different temperatures they measured, it didn't fit that well. They had to de derive different parameters separately for each temperature. So that, that was another kind of um, uh, kind of setback maybe or challenge that they faced in in, in doing this. And thirdly, when they, they then applied their equations that they um, developed for low variance to the high variance data set, actually a lot of the parameters had to change by quite a lot. So we saw some of those in that table, some of them were changing from you know, around nine to around 45. You know, they said they're always the same sign. Okay, yes, they're always the same kind of order of magnitude. Yeah, roughly, but there's still some big changes there. Yeah? So I think there's still some 